I've got another Delta Force Hazard Operations Easter egg for you today, and this one will get you an exclusive camo for the M4. Now, this is a pretty cool camo to get just because people use the M4 so much, and the way camos work in Delta Force is that if you've got one kind of equipped in your menus, whenever you pick up an M4, it will apply it, which is pretty awesome. So even if you find one out in the field, you'll be able to apply it. The M4 is super ubiquitous across Delta Force. I think because people get one in tutorial and a couple of missions give you them, lots of people got used to the M4 pretty quickly and it means it's one of the more common guns in the game. So it's pretty cool to get a camo for it. If you find this guide useful, if you enjoy it, don't forget to like and subscribe. So to get this camo, it's a little bit different from all the others because no bunkers are involved. Instead, you want to go to Zero Dam and go up to this dam section with all the containers in front of it. It's kind of the northeast section of the dam. If you climb up there, you'll see all this green scaffolding and then all of these containers dotted around here. And basically, it's a jumping puzzle that you have to complete to get up there. So the goal is to get up to where that symbol is on that green scaffolding, and it starts by climbing up this yellow ladder. Now this is not quite as tricky as it looks, although I make it look quite tricky here by immediately missing this jump, which is a little bit of a shame. There we go. Make sure you've got some meds because every time you miss one of these jumps, you are going to break both of your legs, which is, I think is a new thing for an Easter egg, being able to break both your legs every time you mess it up. But anyway, make sure you've got lots of surgical kits or whatever so you can fix those because if your legs are broken, it'll make it harder to jump, which will make it harder to complete the rest of the Easter egg. I think one thing that probably helps is having a knife out. I couldn't even climb the ladder here. Um, if you have a knife out, you move a little bit faster, so that might help. Just be careful not to overshoot this very, very first jump. So you can kind of hop on over here, and then you can hop on to the next bit. And then if you aim for the right-hand side of this jump, you should be able to make it. See there, I just grabbed, so I sort of jumped and then pressed space again to mantle up. And for this first part of the climbing, you'll just open up this little toolbox and you'll see there is actually a little ledge. But when I tried to jump up here, I just kind of slipped off and again, broke both my legs. But not being put off by something as simple as breaking your legs, Cobb decided to give it another go and found a way to get up to that top section where you can actually jump across. So of course, I had to go give it a go too. So again, you just climb up this ladder. I think it's a good idea to have your knife out and then you can hop on over to this little bit. I think you can actually make the first jump just by running, to be honest. But I would just do a little hop, maybe, just to be a little bit safe. Hop onto the next one, aim for the right-hand side of this, then hop up, then jump up onto where this is. I nearly got booped off the edge, so make sure you kind of keep hammering the space button just to mantle up. And then you can climb up there to the left of it, then where the arrow points, you can walk out onto that platform. You don't need to jump. And then it looks a little bit weird, but it's actually quite easy. You just kind of jump to the right-hand side of that, then you can move across one more easy jump and now you're in here and the box that you want the crate that's going to have the camo inside is just there on a wooden box now just like all of the other easter eggs in this game once you pick up that crate you need to get it out so you can't put it in your safe box or anything like that you actually need to carry it all the way out of the match then once you've managed to get it out, you will have this lovely M4 skin. And I think it does look quite nice. None of the camos in this game are crazy. There's like a few really bright, colorful ones. Like they're just sort of solid pink and things like that. Then there's a few of stickers all over. This is kind of quite a natural looking camo, but it looks pretty good. And like I said, it's on the M4, so that's awesome. So if you found this little Easter egg guide useful, don't forget to like and subscribe. It does help me out a bunch. And I'll see you for the next one. Goodbye.